What's up, people? Back with another reaction, back with some more jazz. And indeed, we're going to listen to some Ethiopian jazz. And if any of you know anything about Ethiopian jazz, you might not be surprised. We're going to listen to Mulatu Astatke, um, seen as like one of the real godfathers of the genre, certainly the person whose music uh, brought Ethiopian jazz to international attention. Um, the tune we're going to listen to, Yegele Tezeta, it was originally from 1969. It was his very first uh, single that he released. Um, on Amha Records, an Ethiopian label, uh, but I heard this, obviously I wasn't born until 1980, uh, I heard this as part of the score slash soundtrack for a Jim Jarmusch movie called Broken Flowers, starring Bill Murray. A cool movie, sort of like a, you know, it's like awkward tension comedy, but it's also sort of like a midlife crisis uh, movie. A cool movie, but um, lots of different kinds of music, but the music that is sort of instrumental and serves as the score are Mulatu Astake's works, um, and in particular this one really stood out to me when I watched the film, so I bought the score or the soundtrack, ripped it to my computer, so I don't um, have the disc case anymore, I'm not sure what happened to it. Um, like I said, a couple a couple moves ago I lost a couple boxes and they had a lot of CDs in them, or at least the CD cases, so. Um, but yeah, we're gonna listen to Yigele Tezeta, uh, originally from 1969, Mulatu Astake on Amha Records, but this is from the Broken Flowers soundtrack. So here we go. <laughs> It's like funky, but it's also sort of dark and brooding. Like... I love the saxophone. I feel like, I don't know, in popular music, I feel like it sort of peaked in the 80s. Um, and I feel like in recent times, unless you're a ska band, you don't hear it as much, but I love it. driving around in his car. He's trying to find one of his former girlfriends who like has had a kid. Like he suddenly learns he has a kid and he tries to go find out which girlfriend it is and where or who the kid is with minimal if any success. It's a bit unclear at the end of the film if this young dude he met is actually his son but it's not resolved. fades, which you've heard me talk about before. Oh, and it, it fades as he's like really getting crazy on that, what is it, organ, I believe? Um, yeah, I was going to call it a keyboard. I was like, wait, I think it's technically an organ. Um, nevertheless, um, it's a remarkable tune. Like I said, it has sort of funk. It's also sort of like 
you know, a bit rough and gritty in the low end. Um, the the sax comes in with some sultry swagger, and then the like higher brass just really kind of like drives point the point home at the end of the tune. So, you know, my complaint about the fade-out ending notwithstanding, uh, and presumably on the original 7-inch from 1969, it doesn't end that way. Um, I don't know that for sure, but that would be my assumption. Um, but yeah, I really like that tune. Um, it's, you know, a type of jazz that, you know, I hadn't heard before, um, and it makes sense. You know, it's from a totally different country, different, like, you know, linguistic, cultural idiom, even though it's an instrumental piece. Um, so it doesn't surprise me that it's not like a lot of the American jazz I've heard, and I've heard different kinds of American jazz, you know, I've heard different types. Um, but yeah, when I heard that, it really blew my mind. And the other tunes that are, you know, that I first heard as part of the Broken Lizard um, soundtrack, Broken Lizard, Broken Flower soundtrack, you have to excuse me, I watch a lot of movies by Broken Lizard, so... Uh, but yeah, the Broken Flowers soundtrack. Um, the other songs are good, uh, or the pieces, because you know none of the ones in the film um, have vocals. They're all instrumental. Um, I do think they're good, but I think that is the best one. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if you're familiar with this artist, or let me know if you're hearing that for the first time. Um, certainly made a big impression on me when I heard it for the first time. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I was already, you know, I like different kinds of jazz before I heard it, so I'm not sure how many people um, here, again, on this new channel, it seemed like the punk rock reactions and the hip-hop ones to a slightly lesser extent are getting the most interaction, so perhaps more people watching this will be into, like, punk rock and so on. My old channel was more techno people, so I'm just trying to do all sorts of reactions. It's nice, actually, it's a bit liberating in that my first channel, like, I felt a bit of a pressure as it started to get more attention and more subscribers that I like, you know, I want to do some of these other things like punk rock and so on, but I don't know if the people, you know, here are going to be into that, you know, people that have started following me here have uh, come to see like techno reactions and, you know, hard trance reactions, hardcore reactions. Um, so it's a bit liberating now that I'm on this new channel because I feel like, well, I'm just going to do whatever feels right. I mean, that's sort of what I was doing originally, but like I said, at, as it got more attention, I felt more like, well, I got to do more techno, right? Um, so again, there's going to be more techno, there's going to be more hardcore here, but um, it's going to be more varied. It's definitely going to be, you know, punk rock and hip hop and reggae and jazz and classical and techno and hardcore and trance and so on. So. Uh, I'm going to be all over the place. Hopefully some of you are willing to, you know, check out some styles maybe a little bit outside your own um, wheelhouse, so to speak. Um, but even if not, even if you're here just for a very specific thing, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate you. Have a good day. Have a good night. I'll see you next time. Peace.